We're working on plumbing some of the oil lines in the car. Made this little bulkhead here. And the firewall, those are for the, all the oil lines. So you got your feed and return, those are big dash 16. And then you have the um, vacuum scavenge section, which is a dash 10. <clears throat> and that's not something that all dry sump systems use. Uh, but it's an option on this daily pump and this oil tank uh, the return will normally go into there like a filter like an Oberg style return filter uh, but this the plate that goes on here does not have a provision for a dash 10 return only the normal dash 16 so we're going to add a dash 10 fitting into this Got my hole drilled there, and my weld done. Keys right in there. Now to glue it together. We are plumbing some of these uh, pressure slash temperature sensors from Bosch Motorsport, and they're 10 by 1.0. This one's gonna go right in the oil filter pedestal. Uh, so this is like the unused port plug. So we just drill and tap the end of it. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is kind of skim off this anodizing, give it a, a fresh surface to for this copper crush washer to seal too. It's probably unnecessary, but it's already in the lathe after I drilled and tapped it. So no big deal. Isn't that special? For the fuel pressure, I did the same thing by uh, drilling and tapping a port plug. And then I put the fuel pressure gauge over here off a hose. I actually had them switched at first and then realized that uh, I'm not gonna get good temp reading if this is over there at the end of that hose. But then it turns out that the Link ECU is gonna be out of temp inputs anyway, so we're gonna to have to read fuel temperature off of the uh, content sensor. So, either way, even if we wanna use this to read temp, it's in a good place now, so that's good. Still plumbing these sensors. We have, uh, coolant one is next. I'm making a bung that's M10 by 1.0 for the temp pressure sensor. So I'm going to turn one of those out on the lathe and then weld it to the water crossover pipe. welded in here into this uh, crossover pipe that I made in a previous video if you didn't see it check that out so that's it for all three of my temperature and pressure sensors using a link 5 bar map sensor we just mounted it here to the intake manifold with a p-clamp and made a little dash 3 hose that's just to isolate it from vibration uh, those Bosch sensors I don't normally have a issue with vibration or I haven't in the past, but I'm not familiar with this one, so I isolated it. Easy to do anyway. And just drilled and tapped the intake manifold uh, for a pressure source. Working on plumbing these turbos. We got the oil drains done, and both of these come off both turbos, go into a Y fitting, and then get um, uh, extracted into uh, another section of the oil pump which is pretty cool so the the dry sump pump actually pulls the oil out of the turbos like scavenges the oil out of the turbos uh, so that's a pretty trick so i already had these lines made up 
Uh, kind of tough to see, but there is a Y there. So this here is how the oil normally feeds from the turbos. It bolts down here to like the back top of the engine and then it hangs way off, like way over the bell housing and it's just really long and awkward. So what I've decided to do is instead of use this thing with adapter fittings, I grabbed this oil drain flange, milled the dash 10 fitting off of it and I'm going to drill and tap it for quarter NPT and then I'm going to put this T in it. So it'll just shoot straight up and then I'll run these forward through the valley of the engine to feed the turbos and it'll be a lot uh, tidier than this big OEM thing. Normally it's uh, right turbo, left turbo and then an oil temperature sensor, I believe, and we're not using this sensor anyway, so we really don't need this. We're going to return that. So, this is a lot tidier. This thing just comes straight up than this big thing hanging over the bell housing. Here's that fitting welded onto our return filter plate, and it is all plumbed up. All three hoses here come through my bulkhead, and then I plumbed all three hoses on this side of the bulkhead down to the pump looking good we have oil lines plumbed drain hose feed hoses got finished up come from uh the back of the valley there i have the i have the alternator out right now to uh finish the downpipes downpipes are actually made i gotta bolt them on tomorrow um uh, Boost control solenoid is mounted here, and then uh, Shane is going to uh, finish plumbing that. Goes to uh, each individual wastegate here. Coming along, getting getting excited. Uh, wiring uh, was supposed to be here this week, but it'll be here next week instead, and we will start cranking on that along with mounting all the electronics again. Uh, when we get that stuff and uh, meanwhile we still have uh, a few little things to do to it so pretty cool we'll uh, show you some more stuff in the next video hope you enjoyed this one